Alrighty, guys, so, um, we did have, of course, a, a have a data download, uh, and we did get, um, the new super, uh, excuse me, the Super Saiyan, uh, God Goku, or, alright, Alrighty guys, welcome back for yet another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're gonna go ahead and discuss everything that was in the data download last night. So, of course, we do have the new Blue Goku and and uh, Vegeta unit. It is, of course, an exchange unit into Super Saiyan uh, Blue Vegeta. Now, first impressions of looking at the unit, because again, I did watch uh, the private server showcase uh, for this unit over on the Truths channel. Um, and first impressions are, I think this Goku is a lot better than maybe we, that, uh, that maybe I have given him credit for. Again, I don't think he's going to be like anything like insanely busted or broken, but at the same time, he's not horrible. Again, this guy actually seems to be pretty good. Uh, and what I did like about this is that again, this does stack. So he does stack this extra 100%. Uh, which is really nice, plus the 50% that he gets on a super attack, uh, and the fact that he stacks attack. Uh, I would say, more than anything, this Goku seems to be a very damage-centered um, unit. Again, this guy, I think, in my opinion, is just really just focused on damage. Um, but, dude, Vegeta, on the other hand, Vegeta is just a different type of animal. Vegeta is uh, really good, really, really good. Now... What do I think about this unit in comparison to, like, Ginyu, for example? I, again, I still do think Ginyu is better, like, overall, because Ginyu in his base, or I guess would be in this form, he does support, you know, and he does stack defense, which is really, really important nowadays, especially when we're talking about difficult content, uh, especially in things like red zone like Ginyu is a unit that not only stacks but he stacks actually pretty quickly like even at the 55% level this guy stacks really really fast uh, and he does have built-in additionals into his passive he, I mean dude like, like I said he supports a category team like Ginyu is very good now Vegeta and Ginyu Goku I will say Vegeta I think will be doing significantly more damage than Ginyu Goku but at the same time, it's very limited for Vegeta. Because again, for three turns, he does create Rainbow Key Spheres. And again, basically like the crit chance, the extra 100% attack and defense, and the extra defense here are kind of built upon how many Rainbow Key Spheres he has. So for the first three turns, I, I think I can absolutely see why Vegeta might seem better than Ginyu. Um, it's just that I think overall, like, like, like if we're talking about overall in, in an event using them i think ginyu goku is gonna seem more impressive uh because again ginyu goku he has the stacking of his attack so his attack technically has no limit to it in his ginyu goku form he has the dodge he has the crit chance he has the extra one uh extra 50 percent attack and defense he builds up so again i do think ginyu goku is slightly better but again you could absolutely convince me or make an argument and i wouldn't necessarily disagree with you that Vegeta is better. So overall, I do think Ginyu Goku, as well as, just, you know, Ginyu in general is better, but I think this is going to be the second best unit in the game very easily. Like no doubt about it in my mind, this is the second best unit in the game. Now, the other amazing thing that I love about this unit is their leader skill, which is Realm of Gods and Mastered Evolution. Uh, you know, 170% and then 30% to pure Saiyans. Now, the big unit that comes into mind that is getting buffed from this is Master GY Goku, the uh, sixth year anniversary LR. So that to me is the biggest like unit or biggest gun coming from their leader skill. So that's going to be really interesting to see um, in the future when this unit, of course, drops. Now, talking about the other units that dropped, we did get the EZA and, and Awakening, I believe, for this uh, Mecha Frieza, as well as the EZA for this Int, Meta, uh, uh, Int Metal Cooler from the uh, Battlefield Memory Shop, which, by the way, now opens up many, many possibilities for the future when it comes to Battlefield LRs. Uh, the other thing is that Int... Um, Golden uh, Angel Golden Frieza is going to be getting his EZA. So again, we are going to be getting a very, very good EZA in the future as well. And then we are also going to be getting the EZA for this Tech LR Ginyu. Um, again, this guy is a free-to-play LR. 
Uh, so again, the fact that he's going to be getting an, um, an easy A as well is again really, really good for us. Um, so again, I'm very, very excited to see what the celebration brings, uh, especially for something like part two. Because uh, again, the, if they're easy Aing this guy, again, I assume they're probably going to drop like a Frieza in like part two. But um, anyways, continuing on. Uh, Jacko, uh, again, I did see the showcase for Jacko, and I will say this, uh, I do think he is going, he is going to be maybe a top 10 banner unit, I don't think he's going to be the best banner unit, uh, best banner unit, or be like top 5, just because of this right here, the fact that he's basically on only 4 category teams really does kill this unit in a way, because again, he, dude, again, he doesn't have a whole lot of usability, but the good part about him is that, again, he is going to help out a ton of categories, uh, that he's on like special pose, defenders of justice, and I guess movie heroes does need a little bit of help uh, here and there. But again, uh, in terms of like the other two categories, again, Jacko is going to be easily one of the better options to run um, in that event. So again, Jacko, very, very solid unit. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the easy A uh, for Int Metal Cooler. Oh my God, did not mean to press the ad. Jesus Christ, why? No. How do I get rid of the ads? I want ads gone. All right. Anyways, I got distracted there. So after their easy eight int metal cooler army is extreme class four key and 120%. Uh, they're on their 12 key. They raise attack and defense for one turn and massively lower enemy defense on their 18 key. They only raise defense and then raise extreme class allies attack by 30% for two turns. So that's actually pretty in uh, interesting to see. On their passive. Anyways, guys, sorry about that pause there. But um, anyways, continuing on. Uh, on their 18 key, again, they raise defense on their uh, super attack and then raise extreme class allies attack by 30% for two turns. Uh, on their passive, they recover 8% HP at the start. They get 100% attack and defense plus another 100% attack and defense, the more HP remaining. So again, this is a unit that you want to be at constant full health for them to really have the highest um, stat boost possible. They give two key and no three key and 30% to artificial life form category allies. Let's go ahead and take a look at artificial life forms. So first of all, uh, again, I really like the fact that they're giving 30% defense and three key to artificial life forms, uh, mainly because again, I would say this team can sometimes struggle for key, uh, especially for units like maybe MVP seven, uh, not MVP, but uh, help not Hellfighter, fusion, not fusion. What What is this guy called? What are you called? You're just a Super 17. Okay. So units like Super 17, I think, definitely would need the key. Uh, Boo Piccolo or Boo, Boo Tanks would, uh, again, kind of need it sometimes. So, again, it is nice that they, you know, he is giving defense to artificial life forms. Overall, I guess is what I'm getting at. I feel like I just had a stroke there. But, um, again, very, very nice that he is giving uh, the support type effect to artificial life forms. So, again, I'm actually really, really happy about that. Because, uh, again, this team, besides, you know, sometimes needing key, most definitely uh, needs any sort of help uh, on the team. Because, again, the only one that I know that is a support type is this guy. Uh, the issue with him is, you know, he only gives attack in his support. So he's not exactly the greatest ever um, in terms of just being a normal support type unit because he's also free to play. So, like I said, not the greatest, you know, unit ever. But, again really really nice that they are giving support um they they also have a high chance to launch up to two additional attacks each of which have a medium chance to become a super attack all right so again this is a unit where they could do this unit could quad super and then quad raise their defense because you get one 18 key super attack raises their attack for two turns raises defense and then they would raise defense three other times again if you're lucky and get a quad super. So, depending on the situation, I think this metal cooler army could look really, really stupidly good. And then you factor in their links as well. Big bad bosses, strongest clan in space, shocking speed. Uh, this unit is good. Uh, Nightmare gives attack. What is auto regeneration? 5 HP and damage reduction as well. Okay, so this Metal Cooler Army unit looks pretty good. And again, they're, they, dude, they are giving a lot of help to a ton of categories that needed, like Corroded Body and Mind, Revenge, Target Goku, Artificial Life Forms, Wicked Bloodline, Resurrected Warriors. I am a fan of this unit. 
the, dude, the Metal Cooler Army, they're looking really nice. Again, I really, really enjoy what they did with their EZA. They are really, really cool. All right. So, yeah, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with their EZA. This is really, really nice. Again, any time that they actually, like, buff, you know, you know, old units like these and have them be, like, good support type units as well for, like, you know, all of these small category teams that really need the help. Uh, of course, you know, they would have to be artificial lifeform units, which, again, could be my only discrepancy with this unit is just make it extreme class category allies 3 key and 40% to defense is what I would have done. But, um, again... The fact that, again, this unit is supporting even just like one of, you know, these small category teams, which is artificial life forms to me, is more than enough. Again, I'm really, really impressed with, with uh, what they did with this Metal Cooler army. Alright, so I guess they both awakened and then easy aid this uh, Mecha Frieza from the Strike event. So again, this is like one of those like super easy free-to-play units to get. So after um, the easy A... Uh, Frieza is physical and int 3 key 70%, raises defense for one turn on super attack, and then lowers attack, so very nice super attack effect also. Um, he gets 100% attack and defense when key is 6 or more, another 100% when key is 9 or more, another 50% when, when key is 12. So when you get this Mecha Frieza basically a super attack, he's going to have 250% attack and defense. And then another 50% attack and defense if the enemy is in the attack down status. And then another 100% defense when all allies attacking in the same turn are wicked bloodline characters. High chance to perform a critical hit when all allies attacking in the same turn are resurrected warriors. Alright. And then Link set is Prodigies, Mechanical, Menaces, Bombardment, Universal's Most Malevolent, Revival, Super Strike, and Shattering the Limit. Alright. I will say this. I think this Frieza is good. Mecha Frieza is good. He's not great. Like, he's not exceptional. He's just good. Because, again, the first part of his passive where you need essentially 12 key is not hard to complete. That is actually really easy. The 50% attack and defense when the target enemy is in the attack down can be a little tricky because most bosses, even Dokkan event bosses, cannot have their attack lowered after a certain point. So, depending on the situation, Frieza could look really good with 300% attack and defense or not as good with 250%. Again, it's not a huge dip, but again, he's not going to look as impressive as if he had had the 300%, uh, but I will say this, it does seem that they want you to use this Frieza in Super Battle Road, in, in a Super Battle Road setting, I do think this Frieza is going to be very good, because of the attack down status thing, because again, you can lower the attack in Super Battle Road, so in Super Battle Road, I do think this Frieza is going to be very, very good, the other thing that I guess I have a little bit of an issue with is the fact that he gets 100% defense, when all allies in the same turn are Wicked Bloodline, but at the same time, I, I don't mind that, because Resurrected Warriors, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Androids Last Cell Saga, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, and Human Deeds, Gifted Warriors, Sworn Enemies, all of these category teams, I think, except for Android Last Cell Saga, you can run an entire Frieza-like build. Uh, and what I mean by that is, like, basically have rotations where all allies are Wicked Bloodline. You can do that for most of these teams, actually. Like, and, re I mean, rather easily. Like, the biggest teams that come to mind that you can do this, like, just straight up, of course, is Wicked Bloodline, Transformation Boost, Terrifying Conquerors, Sworn Enemies. These four category teams off the top of my head. Oh, and then Resurrected Warriors now because... Int Frieza is going to be getting his easy A. So, those five categories right off the top of my head are not only going to be his best categories to be in, but also the ones where you could easily get the extra 100% to defense. So, not the worst condition I've ever seen for a unit, but I think it would have made him much better if it was just 100% to defense if there is a Wicked Bloodline category ally on the team. Um, I think would have been much, much better. But again... Not bad at all. Again, this Mecha Frieza is looking pretty decent. And then again, like I said, uh, you know, Int Golden Frieza, 
is going to be getting his EZA, as well as the uh, free-to-play tech LR Ginyu Goku uh, and the Ginyu Force as well. So, uh, again, that is essentially everything that's come into the data download. So, anyways, guys, uh, that is going to do it for today's video. You guys can let me know what you guys think of the new EZA for the uh, Battlefield Shop Metal Cooler Army, as well as the Super Strike uh, Mecha Frieza, what you guys think of the new exchange of Blue Goku and Vegeta, as well as Jacko. Again, I do think this is going to be a really good celebration because, again, we have two EZAs um, uh, with the Int Golden Frieza as well as the Tech Free to Play LR Ginyu. We have another EZA with Metal Cooler Army, another EZA with the Mecha Frieza, and then, of course, with the banner. Again, this celebration is seeming to be very, very good. A very awesome celebration, uh, for sure. And again, I assume the celebration is going to have a part two because I think personally it would be foolish if they didn't ex like use this opportunity to like drop a new golden Frieza. Uh, again, I would absolutely die for that. That would be epic. Uh, so yeah, that is going to do, do it for today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. The name of this one is Rosé. Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.